So this is the main version of Extreme. Um, a little test and set some stuff up. Uh, it pauses between uh, scenes, but other than that, I'm not gonna fix that. But yeah, uh, I'm not gonna play it, but I just wanted to show you that everything's working pretty good. Pads are working and stuff like that. So um, I set this up just for testing purposes. Uh, you can X out of it and it loads up a menu, changes, this is on a CRT I might add, changes resolutions. And these are all the different versions of the, yeah. So, if I wanna, this, I'm trying to get like PlayStation versions here and stuff like that, but these are all the original mains. Fifth Miss, Fourth Mix, uh, Fourth Mix Plus. Hey, let me, uh, let me load that sucker up. I'm not gonna bore you with the immense loading time, but I will uh, unpause it when it's uh, loaded up. All right, so for instance, uh, this is fourth mix plus. <laughs> Dance Dance Revolution 4th Mix Plus! And of course you got the lights working and everything, which is nice. Um, Everybody's waiting for you!
menu. Hopefully it's gonna be the two end buttons to, to bring you back to the menu. You can choose something else. Uh, I can even load the original dance. Uh, all the mixes. So this is also gonna be hopefully the PlayStation versions and everything else. Uh, DDR Max 2. And again, I'm not going to have people wait for the loads, so I'll just pause it again. And there's the next mix. So basically, DDR Max 2! It's all the versions of DDR playable, uh, selectable through menu, with the lights working. Uh, this transition phase is because I, have, I haven't shut off anything, uh, which really shouldn't be an issue. I just have to change the transition phase. But, but uh, for the most part, everything is very playable. Um, it's using Groovy Main, which cuts down a uh, basically changes the, the input lag, so you don't get the input lag. It's, it's not as much as the regular main before, so it's using CRT as well. Hopefully that uh, eats up on the uh, input lag as well. Um, like I said, the transitions are the only part that I'm going to figure out, and I already know it's just because it has the front end loaded in the background that swaps when it's changing scenes. Uh, that should be the problem, but... Uh, yeah, you uh, want to exit out, you exit out, back to the menu, maybe pick another version. So the next thing is trying to get the PS2 versions and or PlayStation 1 versions uh, running on it. Should be an interesting project. Let me know what you think.